I confess that I believe in the word of the sacred scriptures of the Old and New Testament as inspired by God. This is life. This is life forevermore. Hello, I am Bishop Edikai Mary, and I want to welcome you to our ministries. We are starting the Lent week today. Um, we will be fasting from 6 to 6 beginning today. People of God, what is today's date? Is today 19 or 20? What's today's date? Let's see. Today is the 20th. Yep. Yep. Today is Tuesday the 20th. We are beginning our Lent uh, celebrations. We begin our normal. This is not the fasting for champion. This is the normal Lent period that started on Ash Wednesday, which some of us will be now observing. But for our ministry, our ministry is a global ministry. We have people from every part of the world. And most of my partners are professional people from different ecumenical bodies, different churches and organizations. They are also bishops and pastors and apostles and prophets and prophetesses and teachers doctors, lawyers, judges, people in the military, business class, they are all part of what I'm doing. So um, we decided to shorten the whole thing. So once a day you will receive a broadcast. You will see the broadcast on YouTube, that's what I mean by that. That will come to you so that you know where what we are doing, what we are, what the sacred the scripture readings for the days are, it may not necessarily follow what is on the um, daily Bible reading on our website. This has to do with what we know. We are following the church when it comes to Easter and Christmas and all other celebration of some of the saints day or some of the sacred days that the church has set aside for celebrating the different feasts, we, 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 we have different readings. So there will be readings that we will be doing. Um, for this, for this year's Easter, we will be slowly finishing our um, daily readings and meditation from the, the song and prayers of Hannah. That is First Samuel chapter 2 and when once we finish that then during holy week we will be doing something else whether we finish the song the exaltation the outburst of the holy ghost in hannah or not we will go into that um the best way for you to follow what we are doing is go to our website didikaimeriministry.com or follow us on our youtube channel all right Tonight, we begin formally to welcome the opening of the doors of heaven for us. We do not need to wait until next week for you to begin what some of us have already started since Ash Wednesday. This is what we are getting into this because I'm giving every one of you opportunity to follow what we are doing as church people. And so I, as your shepherd, want to lead you throughout this Lent, the remaining part of Lent and Easter. This has nothing to do with fasting for champions because that's a separate thing altogether. Those of you who have not registered or paid for that program, you won't know what we are doing during that time. You will never be told. Only those who register will know the mystery and secrecy behind that. All right. So I welcome you to participate in this year's celebration of Lent leading to Easter. In the name of God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Amen.
We are now going to incense the the altar. Let's see. All right. Just make sure that everything is working fine here. O oh Lord, accept all that we do on your altar this day, and throughout the period of the celebration of the rest of Lent and of Easter that is coming. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to celebrate your feast, to celebrate your suffering, and to become part of it. And that by celebrating it, Lord, we become part of you strongly attached to you and then we experience the benefits of who you are and what you did for us. Lord, everyone who will be mentioned, every problem that we will bring to you during this time, all the way to Easter, Lord, accept and solve all those problems that we may enjoy who you are forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let our prayers rise up as a sweet-smelling incense before God. Eternal Father, just as the smell of incense is so beautiful, we plead the blood of Jesus that in your sight that we be beautiful for you. We thank you for the gift of health and youthfulness. And by participating in who Jesus is in the celebration of the Eucharist, a service of thanksgiving, and more than that, a service of deliverance, a service of healing, a service of prosperity and mighty benefits. Brothers and sisters, join me to examine your conscience. I will also examine mine. And if the Holy Spirit reveals anything that we need to repent of, let us repent of it. In the quietness of our hearts, let us ask God for forgiveness. Lord, every time we have failed to come into your presence when your spirit was urging us and we have put everything else before they forgive us. And every weakness that has taken the place of your holiness and power, Lord, forgive us. 
we plead the blood of your son. Any worship of idol, if we have put anything on earth before and above you, Lord, forgive us. We plead the blood of Jesus. We forgive everyone who wronged us and we let them go forever. We let you deal with them, Lord. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Let us offer the collect for the day. Eternal Father, in the midst of the struggle of this earth and of our daily occupations, draw us near to yourself. Pour upon us the anointing for worship and for prayer. Reveal to us that thy presence is better than life itself. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Messiah, our God and our King, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And Amen. Amen. Let us Amen. hear the psalm for today. It will not be chanted. It will be read by Miss Victoria, the gatekeeper. Amen. Okay, Psalm 119, verse 9 through 16. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. With my whole heart, I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O oh Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips, I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Amen. We give praise to the Lord God Almighty, to his Son Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Holy Spirit who possesses us and lives in our hearts the deepest parts of our personality, both now and forevermore. Amen. I want to sing a hymn this morning that reflects what I want God to do during this service I want to say very strongly that I want us to dedicate this service to either you, for you, or for your loved ones who are sick. As this service proceed, those who are sick will be automatically healed. I have believed God for you and God has believed me because I believe him. I have believed what God says and 
and I believe in his name. This is facts and figures for me. This is harder than even science itself. As you listen and as you participate in this broadcast, God is healing you and healing your loved ones. I also dedicate this service to single mothers. I dedicate it also to married couples. I also dedicate it to your children. I dedicate it to single people who have no children and who are not married either. Those are the people that I'm dedicating this service to. The one that really touches my heart is, I dedicate this service to your children. I ask the Almighty God to reach out and touch your children and to reach out and touch you wherever you are in the world that you come under a very strong anointing of the Holy Ghost. The great physician now is near. They are great. My voice is not very good because I've been talking and ministering all of last week. <clears throat> so don't blame me for my bad voice. Blame Victoria and, uh, and blame Kishan, blame Zell, blame Ladri, blame Lady D, you know, blame Geneva, blame all of you. <laughs> blame Pierre. Yeah, blame Pierre. Yeah. Yeah. So. <clears throat> The great face shall now his name the sympathizing Jesus. He speaks the drooping heart to change. Oh, hear the voice of Jesus. Sweetest note in Sarah's song, sweetest name on mortal tongues, sweetest carol ever song, Jesus. Jesus, blessed Jesus. Your many sins are all forgiven. Oh, hear the voice 
of Jesus. Devil twigs, you and God is riven. Redemption wrought by Jesus. Sweetest notes in Sarah's song. Sweetest name on mortal tongues. Sweetest cup roll with a song. Jesus blessed Jesus. Stanzas three. All glory to the dying Lamb. I now believe in Jesus. I love the blessed Savior's name. I love the name of Jesus. Sweetest note in Sarah's song. Sweetest name on mortal tongue. Sweetest come. Rule ever song, Jesus blazed, Jesus. The last stanzas. His name dispels my guilt and fear. No other name by Jesus. Oh, how my soul delights to hear the precious name of Jesus. Sweetest note. In Sarah's song, sweetest name on mortal stones, sweetest calm, roll evil song, Jesus blessed Jesus. Let us hear the reading from the letters to the Hebrews that was written by the Apostle Paul. In the same way, Christ did not take on himself. 
Re tell us, tell us where you are reading. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter five, verse five to ten. Hear ye the word of the living God. Go ahead. In the same way, Christ did not take on himself the glory of becoming a high priest. But God said to him, You are my son. Today I have become your father. And he says in another place, You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. During the days of Jesus, life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. So though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And once made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. And was designated by God to be high priest in the order of Melchizedek. Amen. The Lord bless to us the reading from his holy word. And unto his name be the praise and glory, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. When Jesus was on earth, majority of his life on a daily basis, he spent it, excuse me please, he spent it We did not hear that he spent it preaching or teaching or constantly ministering. We hear that in the days of Jesus on earth, He spent a lot of his earthly life being in the moment with the Father, his Father, your Father and I. He spent it on prayers and supplication to intercede. The two most important things I've come to realize in the Christian race, in fact, actually three, actually four, is being born again by inviting Jesus to become your new God, to become your King, your Messiah. He is first and foremost your Messiah. He is your God and your King. The second most important thing is that in his person is deliverance from his blood and healing from the suffering and pain of his wounds that was executed on him. Don't take those things lightly. The next thing here 
is the gift of the Holy Spirit. Without befriending the Holy Spirit and date him, court him, cry to him, be in his presence, talk to him, find ways to love him. I will tell you one of the reasons that I always love to look young, smell good, dress wonderful. I like to make my altar very beautiful. I present him incense and beautiful lights. I'm dating God. I'm trying to do everything in my human capacity to show him with material resources and earthly things how much that I care about him. Because I have a Jesus that if you really know my Jesus, it will break your heart. Because the first thing that he always does is to show you how big his love is for you. It's only revealed to those who want it. If he looks at you, you will begin to weep because his love is better than this earth and better than everything you can ever imagine. When you begin to love the Father through Christ Jesus, your physical body, the way you think, your spirit will be altered. The Holy Ghost will possess you. The gift of the Father, which is Jesus, and the gift of Jesus and the Father, which he got from the Father for us, is the Holy Ghost. The things the Holy Ghost and Jesus will do for you. Because everything the Holy Ghost does is not of his. It's of Jesus. That's what Jesus said to us. That all that the Holy Ghost is going to do is from him. I do not want you ever to forget that Jesus spent majority of his time not doing ministry, but being in the presence and in the power of the Father and of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> there are times that when I go to the altar to lay there, for hours, I'll just be shedding tears. The reason is that I'm possessed by a love that there is no human being that can give that to me. I have found love, I've found joy, and it comes from a different planet. And that was all that Jesus was seeking and every other thing came to him easy. The call of God does not mean that you should live your professional life. I mean, there are some of you that I'm gonna invite to go into full-time ministry, and that would also be your bread and butter, your job. Many of you are coming into that with me. Some of you are going to be administrators, working in offices for us. Some of you are going to become pastors of our physical churches. Others are going to become prophets and prophetesses. You say something to leaders of nation and it come to pass. You say something to businesses and it will be like that. 
Get ready for it. It's coming. Many of you, God is going to give the gift of holiness, the gift of power, and all of that cannot happen except you belong to the, the most important place on earth. We call it the place of the presence and power of the Mosai. Victoria, get Psalm 91 for me. When you find it, you tell me I find it. I will allow you to read. And you will see what I'm talking about. Okay. I do not want to dwell in any place except where the cherubims are with God. Because of Jesus, the same covering, okay, the same covering that the cherubims give to the glory of God they will give to us. During the days of Jesus, he cried and shed tears Because as a human being, he must be like his father. That's my greatest desire in life. I miss different things and the big things that I want to achieve on the earth. My greatest desire is always to be in the place of presence and power. You can call it any name. Some call it the closet. Some call it the secret place. For me, that is my shrine. That's where he comes to meet with me and I go to meet with him. That's where I get empowered. That's where my physical body is made young. Let me tell you. I am no longer dealing with devils and all of that. Why? Because I am in the presence and in the power and the glory and the kingdom forever and ever. And devils don't like that. Because he was in the place of presence and power, he had the boldness to do great things. There is a space that you have to break into. Something is trying to keep you away from entering into the place of greatness. That doesn't come by simply walking into it. It comes with pain. Nobody gave, no woman gave birth to a baby without some pain. The same, in the same way, you cannot break through into greatness and money without pain. So if you just think, I mean, you can inherit money, but if you are not smart, you can lose it. But if you want to become history and not just read other people's history and not just teach history, but you yourself make history, you're going to go through what Jesus went through. The best way to be the best is to be in the presence and power. Because that is where for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. All of that happens in the presence and power. When I came back from Atlanta, I started receiving material resources like I've never received. I always want boots that I can wear from January to December because I love boots. I got them, many. I wanted new tennis shoes for dress up 
and for sports. I got them many. I wanted new t-shirts, the best in the market, the most costly. I got them. I never bought them. God just went and told somebody, send them. He needs them. And there I have them. I'm not trying to boast about stuff. I'm just telling you what happened. When you are in obedience, when you are obedient to go and do what he says you should do. I was in the plane flying to Atlanta and I heard God came into the plane and said, will you travel for me? I said, yes, I will. He says, it's going to be full of pains, but I'm going to reward you greatly. And since I came back from Atlanta, the Lord became my shepherd and I shall not want. And I do not want. Absolutely. It's not that he's given me millions. Someone called me yesterday and told me that God told her to start calling millions into my life and not thousands. I know that's God. But that's what I'm asking for. Will you travel for me? It's going to be full of pains. Will you do this for me? Even if they don't have money, will you welcome them? Will you cherish them? Will you love and care for my people? I say yes. I'll give you more money than any of them could give you. And he has done it. I want you to join to make what God is doing for me bigger. Contribute. Send your own. Tell God I want to be part of your giving to this man. Because it comes with a mighty reward towards you. There are things that you have been crying, shedding tears about. One day of you talking to me, the next day is over with. Three different women spoke to me in three different days about their marriages, about their health, about their job. The three of them, one talked to me like today, next day the solution was there. The next one talked to me, the next day, the next day solution. I'm serious. People's blood pressure vanished. Three women had blood pressure, all vanished. The doctor said, you don't have it. How come? They said, well, we talked to a bishop. Each of them have told their doctors. Why is the three things happening to three women at the same time? And for each of them, their husband came and begged them. Somebody that was maltreating one of them, the husband actually did something very terrible to her. Injured her. The other ones wasn't really that terrible. Why is it that in three days, three men, three husbands, came to kneel to beg their wives. Never happened. Those are men who swore, who are very arrogant. They never, well, they will never have done it. And I began to notice that the more I stay in God's presence and power, and when people, when I come out and people come to meet with me or talk to me, what happened at the altar begin to flow into them. This is not a coincidence. Two of those women, I told them, you are going to get a new jobs. They all got it. And they are all highly paying jobs. 
So I'm waiting for those women to bless me. One has kids, two are about to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you testimonies of what happened. When you stay in the presence and in the power, things begin to happen that are beyond you. That's why when people call me concerning the same problem, I normally, when you, let me just tell you ahead of time so that you know, when you call me to repeat the same problem to me, if I hush you, if I tell you stop, and I begin to talk to you about, I tell you, repeat this after me, say this. I'm trying to get you away from a pattern that you have known all your life. So that I try to begin to get you into the presence and power. Because he warned me that I should never allow people to come. People, I mean, you can complain to me once and after that, that's it. You are not allowed to do that anymore. Even if you've not yet seen the result of the petition of prayer, of the covenant, don't come complaining. He said you. It will come to pass shortly. There's something that God said that I should tell each of you. Because we have entered into a season where everyone will get answers to their problems. Please. I have been warned to tell you, do not do anything to get yourself back to that same problem. For example, there are people whose debt, credit card debt is going to be wiped out. All kind of debt that you put yourself or that put you into, they're going to be wiped out. And I've been told to warn you, the Lord was talking to me with tears yesterday. I'm just letting you know this. He was talking to me with tears. He said, tell my people, I'm going to deliver them through your ministry, through your office. But please plead with them not to do anything to get themselves back into trouble because I want to take them into higher places. And I cannot keep repeating the same pattern over and over. And he began to show me people going to get loans. He said, you see, he showed me some of you going to get loan, going to get credit card, going to get this, going to buy things that you cannot afford. He said, you see it, son? I said, yes, sir. I joined him to cry because when you see Jesus cry, you just begin to cry. Or sometimes you hear the Holy Spirit sob because it's on his sobs. It's deep for him. Jesus cry out aloud. The Holy Spirit sobs. The Father groan. It's deep. Things concerning you touches them very deeply. Yesterday was the first time that I really know how much things really touches heaven because of us. Don't repeat a pattern that you should not repeat. You're going to have the house you're going to have the car. You're going to have this. Some of these things will happen during this week. Some of them will happen during Easter week. And that will be it. But do not do anything to get back into a big old mess. Because people are coming to you to come and tell you, oh, it does not matter. Get it. And you go and get it. And then you begin to have trauma. Read Psalm 91 from verse 1. Okay. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I will trust. 
Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler, and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and butler. You shall not be afraid of the chair by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all of your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall bear it upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he know my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. Yes. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Amen. The summary. of where God is directing us tonight is this. His presence and power will set you up on high and nothing can bring you down. There is so much instruments of God and persons of God and powers and forces of God waiting to minister to your needs. Do not forget that we have the Holy Ghost anointing oil. The Holy Ghost anointing oil. Go to the website or call us to get one. It's a hundred dollars. I think that's the price for that. And do not forget too that we have uh, we have the love, lock and marriage oil, and also destroy witchcraft. Powerful anointing oil, we have them all here. We also have the healing oil. It's a very, very powerful oil. It's mainly for healing. Don't forget to request for your for, your, for one of these for yourself. We also have oil here. Um if you are a woman you cannot get pregnant and you are also a man you're married you cannot make babies this request for this oil it's called the oil for barrenness if there is barrenness in your life this is what you use
eternal Father, I ask that your Holy Spirit come upon this gift of bread and wine, that it will become for us a celebration of the deliverance and the healing of our salvation, the entrance to get what we want. This is remembering your sacrifice and also celebrating, reenacting that same sacrifice. Father, look upon Jesus. We plead his blood and bless what we are about to do. I call out that every sickness vanish from the lives of people, that poverty vanish, that riches be given and flow, that the spirit of the flow goes into action in the lives of everyone who are participating in this ritual. I administer this Lord, I administer this portion. I bring this sacrifice, O God, for my partners who have put very powerful things, offerings on your altar. And I know that their problem has been solved right now. And Lord, I offer this sacrifice that has been offered by Jesus and you in you. They are partners of mine in Germany, in Pennsylvania, in different parts of the world who want a house of their own, in California, in Georgia, in Kansas, in New York, in Norway, in Australia, people who need professional job that pays millions, hundreds of thousands, new cars, new houses, people want to acquire lands and build. We offer this for people who want to pass exams for scholarships, full scholarships. We offer this for our children, that they be the one to be favored in terms of academics and scholarship. We offer this for the healing of all those who are disabled one way or the other. Lord, repay people's bodies. Repair our bodies. Revive our soul. Reactivate our spirits. Just as the power of the blood and the power of the wound and the power of your name, O oh Jesus, cannot stop. Therefore, what we ask you will never stop. And it has come to pass that what we have asked you has been given to us. The establishment of new churches, hospitals, and the different things that we want the radio and television ministries, the orphanages, the universities for girls, for women, and for men also. We offer this, O oh God, that you will overthrow every wicked government from one part of the earth to another. Those of you who are participating, if you are watching, please add what you want to be done for you. And those of you who are on the conference line, if you want to say something about what you need, this sacrifice is for you. Then you can say it aloud or you can say it in the quietness of your heart. We offer this, O oh Lord, that your presence and your power will never leave us, 
We offer this, O Lord, that the gift, the office, the spirit, and all that the Holy Ghost brings from Jesus is ours forever. We embrace them as gifts. They are ours forever. We offer this, O God, for life. We offer this that the life of Christ will begin to flow through us and that we be possessed by all the fruits and the gifts, the administrative gifts, the power gifts, Lord, we offer this that we come under your sovereign rule and authority forever and ever. We offer this for the overthrow of the wicked in our lands from one end of this earth to another and for the enthronement of the righteous to reign with us. We offer this, O God, that the mantle of greatness will come upon us and will dwell in us forever. In him, through him, with him, Jesus, in the unity of the, the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, all glory and honor are yours, Almighty Father, Forever and ever. Amen. In Him, with Him, through Him, Jesus Christ, our Savior. In the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and power and honor and victory and majesty are yours and the kingdom. Forever and ever. Amen. Thou, O Christ, who baptizes with the Holy Spirit, we yield to your Spirit, and we receive of the abundance of your life in us. Lord, we will never be the same. Alter our lives, invade our lives, Intervene on our behalf. We have received what we have asked of thee. We are sons of the Holy Spirit and we are grateful. I share in this mystery. There are different ways that I celebrate the Eucharist depending on what we are emphasizing. So there are times we lift it up. There are times that it's just for something completely different like tonight. Since I came back from Atlanta, I have been receiving favor upon favor. Yesterday, I was looking at uh, a particular airline it's a different airline from United Airlines and others, the rest of them. And um, I am looking at somewhere where I'll be going for my own personal retreat. So I click and then something said to me, go first and look at your emails for the day. People have got to my amazement. 
that airline has a voucher for me. I didn't request for it. I didn't ask for it. So I wanted to make sure, <laughs> like uh, Mary, my darling, has taught me to do. She said, make sure you look at the receipt very well. <laughs> make sure you look, you look at the paperwork to make sure that it is you. So I went to their website, to the to the airline website, and I look at it. To my amazement, there is a voucher for me with my name and address and everything on it. I said, "This is this is getting better. This is really getting better." So I'm now looking for where am I gonna go for my retreat because the voucher covers my flight going and coming. I love it. I love it. So I have things going on with different airlines. Different airlines are giving me vouchers to travel. So <laughs> so, so Mary, sweetheart, I, I really looked as you taught me, okay, mama? I really looked and make sure because that's what she says. You know, yeah, she said, always make sure you look very well, you know. <laughs> so I did, and it is my name, and I love it. And they told me when it will expire, if I don't use it, I say, okay, I'm going to use it. I didn't ask for it. Things are just happening, just like that, boom, boom, boom. I don't know how they are coming about. The most important, some of the most important things that will happen in your life, you, you don't know about it. It just come to you. Why? Because in the past, you pay you pay the price for them in the past and you forgot about it. And now, you are reaping, you are reaping, or even if you didn't pay a price for it, you did something for God and God just loves you and He's just telling people to bless you. You know, things are just happening. <laughs> I sat, I sat in a, um, I sat in one of the airlines, one of the major airlines that has their hub in Chicago. I sat in um, in the airlines and um, I asked, I asked one of the air hostess. I said um, they were giving Coke and Pepsi, all those kind of drinks. They were giving. I said, no, I'm not drinking that. I'm a prince. Yeah, uh, I'm not drinking that. Um, I know that Geneva has told me whenever you are traveling because of your frailty, you know, she's very concerned about my health. She said, always drink some cook, always drink cook. It's very good to make you not to have nausea because she knows that I have nausea easily. So I, I've already drunk cook before we took off. So here they are passing cook again and almonds. And so I took the almond, but I didn't want the cook. So I told the person, please, what kind of wine do you guys have here? So he said, they have red wine. I said, I want the red one. Is it sweet? She said, he goes, yes, it is. So okay, go, go ahead, fix me something. He went then, he came back. And he said, we've run out. I said, okay. So what do you guys have? So he brought his, yeah, he, he came very close to me. And he whispered into my ears what they got. So they got this, they got, I'm not telling you guys what it was that they got, you know. Uh -huh. So he put his, in my, his, his mouth in my ear and he told me, we, we got that, you know. He said, say that. <laughs> you think I'll tell you, I won't. So, <laughs> so he told me the different things that they have. When he mentioned the one that I, I said, I want that one, go and fix it. Yes, my card, you can run it. He said, hold it. So he went. He fixed me what I wanted. He brought it. Oh, it was so good. It was very delicious, very refreshing. Very, very good. It was potent and nice. I love it. And I'm chewing and I'm sipping my wine. And so I, I'm like, here is my card. Go and run my card. He's like... Um, it's like, excuse me. But then he handed the card back to me, and then he went to the front of the of the plane, and then he came back, and then he said, "Well, it's on the house." 
I said, what do you mean? He said, he, he whispered something to me. He, he goes, sha, 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 sha. I said, okay, sha, 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 you know? <laughs> and then I said, okay, I got it. Thank you very much. Favor upon favor, where I go. You know, just one thing you do for God, he just begins to spoil you. So that's why I'm coming to Los Angeles. I'm coming to Los Angeles for God to do his work. Yeah, coming to Los Angeles. And also, I will be coming to Virginia very soon in April. April, I'm also coming to Virginia. Yeah, I'm not telling you guys what will be happening there. But please, if you live in D.C. and Virginia area, please, can you give us a call and let me know. Let me know that you are there. I'm going to make a short video to talk to people in Virginia and D.C. and maybe Maryland. Because, I mean, those of you in Maryland, we will come to do something there for you so that you do not need to be traveling all the way to us. And... Um, and I'm very, very grateful about what is about to happen. Thank you, Jesus. So I want you guys to rejoice with me. I'm rejoicing with you over the different miracles that has happened. I'm so happy over miracles in Germany, miracles in Norway, miracles everywhere. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. This is, this is why I love God. I love him. And um, there is a secret he has taught me about how to get whatever I want for my for my uh, partners and for those who call us. And that is what I'm now applying. I'm not telling anybody what it is. Now or never. He, he, he sat me down and he told me, when a case is difficult, this is what you do. If they want healing, this is what you do. If they want money, new job, this is what you do. If they want to be married, this is what you do. Marriage to be repaired and to be fixed and order brought back and life and and uh, material resources, happiness, create wealth in a marriage. This is what you do. I said, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my Savior. So here we go. Eternal Father, thank you for blessing us. Thank you for giving us the word of life that your presence and power has set us up on high with mighty favor. We thank you for all of this. We are very, very grateful. Thank you, Lord, that you have allowed us to share in your blood, in your name, in your power, and in your presence. And we will always abide in these resources of heaven for us. And thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit. We love your spirit forever. We love him. We care about him. And so to you all, I want to thank you and welcome you to this Lenten period, the remaining part of Lent that is leading us to Easter. Please look forward every day to a broadcast that will come your way. Okay? And do something for God during this Easter in our ministry and in my life. Because I am in the presence of God to wait to receive instruction concerning you. Some of you I will call to tell you what God is saying concerning your situation. Others I want. You will just see the miracle. Thank you very much for being part of my life. Thank you for loving me, for caring for me, for putting up with me. Because sometimes too, I could be very tough. Thank you for loving me and caring for me. And thank you for praying for me. Thank you for participating in giving and in donating and in providing for the needs of this ministry. And thank you for being part of us. Remember to contribute to our mission house. We will begin officially to talk about that. And also please go and buy our um, facial skin product, the Ladrica Cosmetics. Those are my product. And they also, um, those are my product. They are also in partnership with someone who help us to produce it also. Okay, so it's also theirs and ours. So I want to thank you all for buying our product. God bless you and keep you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Lord, we welcome the opening of heaven for us, where things happen of their own, because you are showing us so much love throughout this time, till Jesus comes back. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus.